Baby keeps waking up with scratches and mom is terrified when she sees the video footage. Some things are complicated to explain and that is even more worrying when it concerns your own child. Heather and Joshua saw several times that their daughter Lily woke up with many scratches. However, they had no idea why until they saw the video footage. Double Decker in London We have all heard strange stories about various places. However, there are also peculiar stories about buses. For many years, there has been a story about this specific bus in London. It is a double decker in London. Tourists love it. One of the first things foreigners do in London is take pictures of the cool double decker buses in the city. These are just the standard buses that run around London. However, one of those buses was a little bit special. It was night bus number seven. There have been strange stories about this night bus for decades. The first story, or perhaps the first incident, happened in 1930. In 1930, there was a man who had an accident with his motorcycle. How this accident occurred was very strange. He was driving on the Cambridge Gardens Road in London when he suddenly flew in the other direction. He got hit by something, but it was not clear what. The story goes that he bumped into a wall, caught fire, and died a horrible death. There was a witness who claimed to have seen this. The witness said that a bus had caused the accident. The description he gave of this bus was quite odd. He said it looked almost like some kind of ghost bus. The bus was completely empty and there was not even a driver present. Extraordinary. Unfortunately, this is not the only weird story about this bus. People spotted this bus on the road until very recently, around 1990. There are several stories about this night bus and that it has caused several accidents, which happened over a very long period. Strangely enough, it also happened every time at the same place and at the same time. Another person who fortunately had survived had also seen night bus number seven once. He was like the other victims on the Cambridge Gardens Road when he suddenly saw a bright red double-decker bus with the number seven heading towards him. Fortunately, he was just in time to turn the other way. He too saw that the bus was completely empty. This incident happens at quarter past one in the morning, just like the other accidents. People spotted this weird night bus more and more often, but there is no clarity about this bus. It is very creepy. It even causes accidents and puts people in danger. Someone even got killed by this night bus. Hopefully, 1990 was indeed the last year that night bus was on the road, and it does not sound like a vehicle you ever want to see. Passengers of an Airplane Unfortunately, this next story is not any less scary. This is another story that seems a bit paranormal and unexplainable. This time, it is not a bus, but a plane. In fact, it is about the passengers on a plane even though we are not sure if there was a plane. The Thai pilot, Voravit Vejajiva, who works for Bangkok Airways, had seen the airport often enough. He saw planes every day, passengers boarding and disembarking on everything connected with planes. One day, however, he saw something quite scary. It was so weird, he decided to videotape it so that people would not think he was crazy this video shows how creepy it was. On the video, you can see through the windows how dozens of people get off the plane in a hurry. The strangest thing is that there is no plane. All these people walk on the bridge that, in normal circumstances, takes you to or from a plane at the airport. But there was no plane connected to the bridge. It was empty. So where did these people come from? If you look closely, the people also look peculiar. It almost looks like it has some luminous background and everyone walks very fast. You could almost say that people wouldn't normally walk this way. This makes it all even more unusual. You can see all kinds of people ranging from young to old and there are also many of them. It's a large stream of people but no idea where they all came from. A pilot working at that airport wouldn't come up with something like that. Would he? 
some people think it's not paranormal at all. They also believe it was just a reflection. Others believe that they are not at all ordinary people. The way they all walk also looks unusual. Whatever it is, at least it looks creepy. Hopefully, no one has to see something like that when they are at the airport late at night. Heather and Joshua lived with their one-year-old baby in Michigan. They lived in the house of Joshua's mother. Everything seemed to be perfect at first. They had a nice little house, a cute baby. Everything seemed to be just fine. However, this changed when they saw something strange on Lily's face one morning. Lily had all kinds of scratches and wounds on her face. At first, Heather and Joshua didn't think much of it. After all, she was still a baby. She might have scratched herself or bumped herself during sleep. Unfortunately, it wasn't as innocent as they thought. Lily woke up more and more often with spots like that, and it was starting to get a bit weird now. Heather and Joshua didn't know what to think, but they were worried about their little daughter. She was only one year old. A child this young is still very sensitive, so as a parent, it is terrible to see them with wounds, especially when it happens more often and you have no idea how it happened. It was also peculiar that they saw this when Lily woke up. Did something happen during the night? That was impossible, right? This family lived with just the three of them, and the house appeared to be safe. After Heather and Joshua started to worry about Lily, more concerning things occurred. The house may not have been as safe as they thought. They could hear some strange noises in the house from time to time. Mostly late at night, they suddenly heard things cracking. The combination of all this scared Heather and Joshua. Who wouldn't be scared if such things happened in your own house, especially if you have a baby girl? Heather and Joshua decided to place cameras in the hope that they would get more clarity. They now went mad with uncertainty. They put a camera in Lily's room, which would record during the night. Lily kept waking up with scratches, and her mother got terrified when she saw the video footage. When they looked at the footage, they got more information, but unfortunately, no reassurance. Heather and Joshua became increasingly frightened now. They saw something suspicious on the footage, and it looked like some type of white shadow. It was quite hard to see what it was, but at least it was strange and scary. Occasionally, you could see the white shadow moving through the room where baby Lily was sleeping. This white shadow flew past her cot. It was incredibly scary. It gave Heather and Joshua goosebumps. They were hoping that what they saw was wrong, but unfortunately, it was as scary as it looked. Heather and Joshua didn't believe in ghosts or other paranormal things, but these images made them doubt. Moreover, their little daughter had had so many peculiar scratches, probably because of this so-called white shadow. Anyway, they had to protect their daughter Lily whether they wanted it or not. What could they do? Heather and Joshua got the shivers when they thought about it, but something had to be done. After all, this was their home, and their baby girl suffered. This could not continue any longer. They had no idea what to do, and who could help them with this strange situation. They called the police, hoping that they could do something. They did not put much faith in it, and as expected, the police told them they could not help with this strange and paranormal problem. Luckily, the police had a different idea, and they advised them to contact an organization that was investigating such paranormal activities. The organization was called Scientific Paranormal Investigations of Michigan, and maybe they could help out. In the meantime, Heather and Joshua had informed their family about this as well. The house belonged to Joshua's mother. Perhaps Joshua's family had more information about this house, which could give some explanations. Joshua's parents had two stories about the previous occupants of the house, and both were very creepy. Joshua's father said that there was an old woman who fell once and broke her hip, and she couldn't get up on her own anymore. According to his father, she stayed there so long until she eventually died. 
Joshua's mother, however, had a different story. She said a young man was living there who had committed suicide. He had jumped out of one of the windows and died horribly. These stories may have been different, but they both sounded terrible. This could help the investigators, but Heather and Joshua didn't feel any better. They never wanted to live in that house again. They decided to stay temporarily with their mother until the problem got solved, if that was even possible. The researchers continued their work. They had all kinds of equipment and ways of testing whether paranormal things indeed happened in this house. They later concluded that something strange was going on in this house. They also observed peculiar noises. They even thought they heard a whisper from someone. Something strange was going on in this house, that was for sure. But also for them, it became difficult to find out what it was exactly and how they could solve it. The background information they had received from Joshua's family, unfortunately, did not make the situation any more comforting. At the end of the day, there were no solutions. The only solution for Heather and Joshua was to move, which they wanted. Unfortunately, they did not have the money for this, which forced them to stay in that house. They then started a GoFundMe, hoping they could move into another place thanks to the donations. Some people did not believe this story to be true. Maybe Heather and Joshua just wanted to get money to relocate. However, with such an odd story, you can never have certainty. But we hope that Heather, Joshua, and Lily are doing well. It's all very unusual. Have you ever experienced anything like this? What is the most bizarre thing you have ever experienced? Share it in the comments. We are curious to hear your story. By the way, have you already subscribed to our channel? Click on the notification bell if you have already subscribed, so you can always be the first to see the most exciting stories. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow with a new video.